All right, a brand new book of the Bible, kind of Moses swan song, the Deuteronomy. Got a lot of things going on, you know, right before they go into the land, kind of a rereading of the law too. Just reminding everybody of everything and showing all kinds of good stuff, heavy duty stuff. Anyway, these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea between Paran and Tophel and Laban and Hazeroth and Dizahab. There are eleven days' journey from Horeb by the way of Mount Seir unto Kadesh Barnea. And it came to pass in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spake unto the children of Israel, according unto all that the Lord had given him in commandment unto them. After he had slain Sihon, the king of the Amorites, which dwelt in Heshbon, and Og, king of Bashan, which dwelt in Ashtaroth of Edrei, on this side Jordan, in the land of Moab, began Moses to declare this law, saying, The Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you, and take your journey, and go to the mount of the Amorites, and unto all the places nigh thereunto, in the plain, in the hills, in the vale, and in the south, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord sware unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. And I spake unto you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. The Lord your God has multiplied you, and behold, ye are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. Does that sound familiar? Remember the promise made to Abraham? As numerous as the sand of the sea, as numerous as the stars in heaven. Here it is. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as you are, and bless you as he has promised you. How can I myself alone bear your encumbrance and your burden and your strife? Take you wise men and understanding and known among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. And you answered me and said, The thing which you have spoken is good for us to do. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men and known, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands, captains over hundreds, and captains over fifties, and captains over tens, and officers among your tribes. And I charged your judges at that time, saying, Hear the cause between your brethren, and judge righteously between every man and his brother, and the stranger that is with him. You shall not respect persons in judgment, but you shall hear the small as well as the great. You shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. And I commanded you at that time all things which you should do. And when we departed from Horeb, we went through all that great and terrible wilderness, which you saw by the way of the mountain of the Amorites, as the Lord our God commanded us, and we came to Kadesh Barnea. And I said unto you, You are come unto the mountain of the Amorites, which the Lord our God does give unto us. Behold, the Lord thy God has set the land before you. Go up and possess it, as the Lord God of thy fathers has said unto you. Fear not, neither be discouraged. And you came near unto me, every one of you, and said, We will send men before us, and they shall search us out the land and bring us word again by what way we must go up, and into what cities we shall come. And the saying pleased me well, and I took twelve men of you, one of a tribe, and they turned and went up into the mountain, and came unto the valley of Eshcol, and searched it out. And they took of the fruit of the land in their hands, and brought it down unto us, and brought us word again, said, and said, It is a good land which the Lord our God does give us. Notwithstanding, you would not go up, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God. And you murmured in your tents and said, Because the Lord hated us, he has brought us forth out of the land of Egypt to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us. Whither shall we go up? Our brethren have discouraged our hearts, saying, The people is greater and taller than we. The cities are great and walled up to heaven. And moreover, we have seen the sons of the Anakim there. Then I said unto you, Dread not, neither be afraid of them. The Lord your God, which goes before you, he shall fight for you, according to all that he did for you, 
<coughs> in Egypt before your eyes and in the wilderness where you have seen how that the Lord thy God bare thee as a man does bear his son in all the way that you went until you came into this place. Yet in this thing you did not believe the Lord your God who went in the way before you to search you out a place to pitch your tents in in fire by night to show you by what way you should go and in the cloud by day. And the Lord heard the voice of your words and was wroth and swear, saying, Surely there shall not one of these men of this evil generation see that good land, which I swear to give unto your fathers. Save Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he shall see it, and to him will I give the land that he has trodden upon, and to his children, because he has wholly followed the Lord. Also the Lord was angry with me for your sake, saying, Thou shalt not go in thither. But Joshua, the son of Nun, which stands before you, he shall go in. Encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Moreover, your little ones, which you said should be a prey, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in there, and unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. But as for you, turn you, and take your journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. Did you catch that about their children there that have no knowledge of good and evil? Remember that. Then ye answered and said unto me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight according to all that the Lord our God commanded us. And when ye have girded on every man his weapon of war, ye, ye were ready to go up into the hill. And the Lord said unto me, Say unto them, Go not up, neither fight, for I am not among you lest you be smitten before your enemies. So I spake unto you, and you would not hear, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord, and went presumptuously up into the hill. And the Amorites, which dwelt in that mountain, came out against you, and chased you, as bees do, and destroyed you in Seir, even unto Hormah. And you returned and wept before the Lord, but the Lord would not hearken to your voice, nor give ear unto you. So you abode in Kadesh many days, according unto the days that you abode there. We're off and running in the Deuteronomy. Show up tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll try chapter 2. God bless you.